Pay attention to this. We're back with a Fox News alert out of the Middle East. Israel saying it's ready to respond after the United States warns an attack from Iran is imminent and could potentially come within the next 24 hours. Yeah, the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem just issuing a major security alert for embassy staff and other U.S. citizens in the country. An Iranian source also tells the Wall Street Journal that attack plans are being discussed, but no final decision has been made. Joey Jones is a Fox News contributor, of course and he joins us now. Joey, good morning to you. Uh, the situation is tense, to say the least. What goes through your mind when you hear all of this? Yeah, I think uh, they're tactical and then they're strategic. I think the tactical sense here is that Israel conducted a strike that took out more military leaders for Iran. I think the life expectancy of an Iranian military leader is probably as short today as it's ever been when you couple this with what President Trump was able to do. But then as an American, I zoom out and say, what does this mean for us? I mean, as a country, we can't fight a war on three fronts, meaning Ukraine, Israel, or the Middle East, and then potentially the Pacific or even here at home, which is our greatest concern. And so, you know, obviously as, as Americans and someone who's fought a war, we don't want there to be a larger war in the Middle East, but Israel has to make a calculation. The, the one truth that I do know coming out of the Israel-Hamas war is that an entire generation of Palestinians have been bred into a lifelong fight to destroy Israel. And I, and I know that that makes it sound like it's Israel's fault. It's not. But any war, any collateral damage in war creates a psychological enemy. So they may physically impede or even destroy Hamas. That doesn't mean they, they take the idea of destroying Israel away from the Palestinian people. And one of the better ways to control that is to take their physical support from Iran away. So I think this is tactical. I think it's looking forward. I think it's trying to get to the, as Kamala Harris would say, the root of the problem, which is Iran. I just hope that Israel has a plan and, and has thought this out and that for somehow that we stop escalation in the Middle East from happening because we can't afford as a country in the United States to support a war that gets larger than what it already is in Israel. Okay, so when it comes to that calculation that you mentioned, the world and clearly the Biden administration are giving P Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu a lot of notes, making this very, very difficult for him to figure out what he should do. But he doesn't seem very <laughs> confused. He seems resolute as to what Israel will do if met with an attack. Listen. We continue our nonstop efforts to return our hostages, but we are also preparing for scenarios of challenges from other arenas. We establish a simple principle. Whoever hurts us, we hurt him. Yeah, so Joey, there is zero equivocation there. What is the response from Israel and from the United States? I know you said it's confusing, it's complicated, but what is the response from those two powers if Iran attacks in the next 24, 48, 72 hours? I think at this point, Todd, it's easier to predict a response from Israel than the United States. I think Israel, if they have the weapons and munitions and physical support, will absolutely retaliate if any attack is conducted on the homeland. I think one of the biggest concerns now is does Iran attack an asset like an embassy in an Arab nation, or do they attack somewhere in Israel specific, or do they attack somewhere uh, Israeli troops in Gaza, which kind of keeps it in the gray area? Do they do it through Hezbollah, or do they do it with Iranian military forces or missiles itself? I think Israel's response will be very definitive. I, th I think they will respond militarily. I think the United States is the wild card, and to the, an extent, I understand, uh, simply because if Israel can't fight this war without United States support, the President of the United States does get a say, uh, either through uh, diplomacy or through the supply of munitions. However, we have a president that wavers. We have a president that says one thing and does another, and we have a president whose, whose body of work says he'll do anything to not win a war, and that's a problem. That's a, that's a big problem. It's one that I hope we remedy in November, but it's one that really plagues us across the board from our own military readiness to what's happening in Ukraine, what's happening in Israel, and God forbid what could happen in the Pacific. Yeah, and that is, that is why the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem just issued that major security alert for embassy staff and other U.S. citizens in the country. Uh, to try and get out uh, because we just don't know what's going to happen. And if Iran strikes directly and, God forbid, kills an American citizen, we could be in a, an entirely new place in this war that we don't want to be in. Joey, thank well, you so much for joining us. We do have to leave yeah. it there. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.